Hey everybody, Dan here, LS Canother. So I got a package in the mail. Uh, I ordered a new attachment for my tractor. Um, so we're gonna unbox it and put it together and see how it works and uh, give a review on it. So let's get to it. So I got a feeling <coughs> I'm upside down here, so let's flip this over. Okay. There. All right, let's see what we got. Come in handy.
Okay. So, if you haven't figured it out yet, this is a yard rake uh, for my three-point hitch. It is actually a small one. It is a five-foot. Um, it's a landscape rake, and unfortunately, the directions are kind of messed up a little bit. But I'm thinking it's pretty straightforward. Um, gives you the parts list. <laughs> and uh, the assembly instructions. Um, yeah, so this is kind of what we get to go by. Um, but I think we can figure it out. Um, it shouldn't be too hard um, to do it. So we'll just take a look at it and see how they got it going together. Um, it looks pretty sturdy. Um, but we'll see after we get it together. And I'll give you the particulars on it uh, later on in the video. So let's get to putting this thing together. So, let's take a look here and see what they want us to do first. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so I guess what they want us to do first is to put the top piece together. Now I gotta say, the shriva hitch on this is pretty stout. I mean that's quarter inch. I mean that's I think it's gonna hold up really well. So, put that in there. So it's saying that this here goes on there. And then we got a washer. So we're going to take and put it uh, through there like that. this way. Sorry about that. Get the key in my pocket. That probably just woke up everybody. Let's 
so to get at the nut and the washer, it's, it's right inside there. So I guess I can get the nut on there. And then we'll just hammer down. So 15 sixteenths down there. So I think we don't want it that tight when we remove it. So we'll back it off just a little bit. too much. And that's better. Then you drop the pin in. So when I looked at the pictures online I didn't think this was adjustable but it is so you can actually have it turned which that's going to work out really good so i'm glad it's like that so we got the first part done now add the tines so looks like okay i think we know what we got going on here so let's see, we got one of these. And of course, then we got some washers. One of these, one of these, I think. <clears throat> Let me put this away. Slide it in. So I'm guessing. There we go. Drop our bowl in. Washer. And no.
So, I've been wanting to get a rake for my tractor for quite a while because I got a lot of branches and stuff that fall off these trees and of course the leaves and things. And, but, after my uh, box blade and my bush hog and putting the expense out for that, I decided that um, the tractor needed to pay for these implements, so I'm able to pay for this. And, and like I say, they're, the rakes I've been looking at are anywhere between six and seven hundred dollars. Even the used ones, I mean, the used ones are a little pricey too, you know, three, four hundred dollars. And, and that was just with the regular three point. And I thought, well, for what I'm doing, I don't need nothing real, real hefty. So I was looking on Walmart.com and it suggested this rake right here. And <clears throat> it was on sale. So I thought, well, I got looking at it and some of the reviews I've seen on it said it worked pretty good. Now, like I said, it's got a three-point receiver hitch, so it's got, it's actually made to go on the back of an ATV um, or a riding lawnmower, and it's also made if you got a three-point receiver on your tractor, like I do, that I can hook up to my tractor. Now, the only complaints I could see about what people were saying on it was the fact that if it's on an ATV or a, or a riding lawnmower, uh, when they're done, a path, they can't lift it up. And so they just have to kind of keep dragging it around where with my tractor, of course, being a three-point, I'll be able to lift it up and, and uh, go around that way. So <clears throat> that's kind of how I come about this. And like I said, the price was right as far as, you know, and I know that people say you get what you pay for, and that's true, but sometimes, sometimes you get a good deal for a decent price, you know. Like the saying goes, even a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. But this was actually, I believe, it was 200 and I want to say 259 or 269. I'd have to pull up the ad again, which I will later on and um, see. But I got it for $178. So I don't think that's too bad for what I got. Um, but once we get it together and use it, we'll find out if I actually wasted my money or if it actually came out to be a, a good idea. That's kind of how I went around this. Thank goodness I really didn't need the instructions all that much. I mean, it's pretty basic. Now, if anybody has bought one of these two inch receiver rakes, um, let me know in the comments how you like it. I'd be curious to find out. And the job I did, I did a box leveling job for a, a couple doing their driveway. They had some deep ruts in it and that. So I went over there and box bladed it and leveled it out. And they were really happy with it. So the money I made from that bought this rake. And going forward, there's some other things I still want to buy. For my tractor, um, but I want the tractor to pay for it. And which I don't think is a bad idea. I mean, that's what you get them for, right? So, one of the things I want to buy is I'd like to get a
skid steer quick attach from my loader. Sorry about that, my battery went dead. Um, got to turn the power on to the shed. So anyways, um, what I was talking about is I'd like to get a skid steer quick attach for the front of my tractor. And one of the things I'd like to get is a grapple. Um, it would really, really come in handy. Um, now, my tractor doesn't have a third function, so I was thinking about getting one of the brush crushers um, that uh, the tail of three cabins has got for his John Deere. He seems to do work pretty good with it. And I've thought about it, and I looked them up, and I think they're about $2,400 for this tractor, but I gotta have my uh, skid steer quick attach on first. Um, I'd probably do better with a, with a uh, hydraulic one, but I don't have a third function on my tractor. Now, I'd like to have a third function on it, and I'd like to have some rear remotes. And I was kind of looking at the Summit one that uh, uh, Tractor Time with Tim um, put together with Summit and had a uh, rear remotes plus a third function at the front so I could use a grapple. Um, it might be a little bit expensive doing it that way too. It's going to be expensive either way. I mean, let's face it, tractors aren't cheap and um, attachments aren't cheap. But anyways, um, kind of rambling, so let's get these put together. So, that's the rake. Uh, Weight-wise, I'm not sure how heavy it is, but it's, it's fairly heavy. Um, some of the tines are not quite the same bent as the other ones, but I think it's still gonna work out, I hope. Um, the only thing we can do is try it, so. I need to take my box plate off and put my three point receiver hitch on and uh, see how that goes. And my workbench. Um, made this just after I got my tractor and I'll tell you I've used it more times than many between this and the tailgate of my pickup those are the best workbenches I got so but anyways let's get that box blade off so unfortunately I got looking at this and it's a two inch outer receiver so it is the same size as this so 
I need to be by an inside piece that slides in between the two so I can hook them together. Um, I know there's adapters you can buy for that, so I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. Um, so until then, I'm not going to be able to test it. So as soon as I get one, we'll come back to it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully we'll have it by tomorrow.